I think that the public is very much influenced by, by media uh, with regard to what they think about dermatologists and the different shows, the uh, social media. So, and a lot of the focus is on, uh, you know, cosmetics and procedure. And there's really not a social media presence for the medical dermatology, which is what we all see the majority of the time, almost all the time. So it, it goes, um, so that's what I believe that dermatologists are mostly associated with the, you know, the fluff stuff in many cases, the, um, the appearance related without, you know, with regard to photo aging and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so it, but on the individual level, you know, everyone builds relationships with their patients and patients, it's important to have that relationship that, that you're there for that patient and you want to do the best you can for them and that it, it, you're not interested in trying to sell them products or you're not interested in, um, you know, trying to sell cosmetic procedures. You're there to help them in the best way that your medical knowledge allows you to do that using the best medications that are going to help them achieve their treatment goals. So that's what, you know, that's what I would hope the relationship between a patient and a physician would be. But, you know, I'm sure that there's cases where patients have been unhappy. Um, maybe there's been cases where, you know, there's been emphasis on cosmetic procedures and products and things. So I, I could see why some patients would uh, have some concerns. But we can't pigeonhole our specialty into something that's just uh, cosmetically related because medical dermatology is huge and there's such an unmet need in a variety of diseases. And it's actually very exciting, as I mentioned earlier, with all of the advances that are being made in huge numbers of inflammatory diseases where before we had nothing. We, we basically felt badly or felt inadequate seeing patients with these challenging conditions because we didn't really have a lot to offer. But acne's just around the corner on that, so just be patient. <laughs> it's not going to be long. Um, we've generated, uh, actually the, the ARS has supported several studies looking at um, the mechanism by which isotretinoin is operating in the skin. We've generated very um, important data sets that are coming to publication. These data sets will help drug discovery for, um, for acne in identifying compounds that can change signaling pathways in the same way that isotretinoin can do that. So using all of these